Okay, moving right along, we have defeated Harley Quinn. Scanned her fingerprints. Now we're gonna do some detective work. Have a visual on herself. You won't find Mr. J. He's in the secret lab in the gardens and oh crap! Yep, I know. Damn. Well he'll get me out, you'll see. Yeah. You'll see. Okay, so a lot of information was just given to us. We now know that Joker is in the botanical labs, and we are gonna look around a little bit. Oracle, I'm done. Harley is <laughs> subdued, and I have her print scanned. So you can find the secret lab in the gardens. Yes. Harley's been everywhere on the island, so I'm calibrating the scanner to only show prints that have traces of chlorophyll. Okay, listen. Be careful. I rerouted a Wayne Tech satellite to show thermal scans of the island. The gardens are showing up hot. Something bad is happening there. Before I head out, I go back into this tower where Harley Quinn was hiding, and actually, uh, there's some stuff up here. There's some teeth inside the doorway that you can get if you're collecting those. And up top, there's a few things that you can hack with a sequencer. Actually, one of them, if you hack it, it will get you a Riddler trophy. One of the trickier ones to find. So that's open. Just head back downstairs if you want to grab the Riddler trophy. I don't want to. Uh, I have all those in a separate video. And as you can see, there's all the guys that I beat down. I'll say I Batman them. I Batman their skulls in. Right now, I'm just kind of trying to figure out how to get out of here. Got a little bit turned around. So there's Harley, and there I see the door, and finally I leave the area. It was there the whole time, I just got a little turned around. And you can head out the same way you came in, pretty much. Oh, Harley was just the warm up, that's. And to be fair to the little scamp, she did an okay job. This is the longest scanner ever. <laughs> it needs to scan Batman 47 times before it allows him to open a door. He is in the high security wing, so it's extra precautious, I think. I'm using the map to figure out where I'm supposed to go, what is this stuff over here, where am I going, etc. And there's a guy, as I was. Follow the enemies. If you see an enemy, you're far ahead of the way. You don't have to take this guy out. I just can't stand them. So I can take him out every chance I get. Uh, he like got confused, so I screwed up my timing. I have no idea what happened there. He, like jump from inside the bathroom stall to hit me. A little bit of David Cross voice over there for a uh, comedian fan. Kind of surprised to hear him in there. He did voice work in uh, Halo also. He was one of the guys who die, one of the Marines. The UNSC. Alright, so we took out all the weirdos and we're headed outside now. Now the Botanical Gardens are actually located in the northern region of the game, so just kind of make yourself, make your way to the center of the island, pretty much.
I thought I'd be able to glide around them so I wouldn't have to encounter a bunch of them. Check your map if you're wondering where it is. As you can see there, it's at the kind of the northern point of this open area of Arkham Island. Batman takes him down. Little, little bit excessive on the crazy guy, but whatever. Took care of him. Make your way through here, and it's the one with the big staircase. That's its very distinguishable trait. It's got a big long staircase, and later some it goes through some changes. Yeah, that one. I don't know what happened there, but I'll take it. He just kind of fell over and was unconscious. I just head up this long stairway and go to the botanical gardens. I should pick up Harley Quinn's trail. Once inside, continue to follow the fingerprints until you get to the end. Two guys with guns, so I use the batarang trick that I told you about before with the explosive gel trick. Just to get the guns out of their hands, because you never want to fight a guy who has a gun. That could be probably said in real life, too. Probably don't want to fight a guy with a gun. Now I just wait for him to come and get me. And there he goes. So he's out. So I think. And I take out his buddy. That guy blew up. <laughs> yeah, I guess he wasn't <laughs> unconscious. That actually scared me when I was playing. I remember I'm like, alright, I'll activate him. What the hell? Alright, so yeah, this took me a few tries, and this is about my third attempt at the level. I just kind of cut through it to, so you didn't have to watch me screw up a bunch of times. That's pretty tricky. I think you're taking on like seven people on three different levels of the, the area of the Botanical Gardens. So you got to be kind of careful and just take your time. Be patient. If you see an opening, take it. I think I actually barely get through this. Where'd he go? So we got the three guys all bunched up up there. Four guys. And I go in for it. You know, I see that they're separated and I take the chance. Because this is like my third or fourth try and I couldn't figure out a good way to do it. But I noticed that the guys with the guns have to come up the stairs so I might have just enough time to take them out. And that's exactly what happened. I have barely enough time to kill these guys.
my dastardly enemy loading times. You need to stop this now, before it goes too far. Stop? But everyone's dying to see what I do next. Let him go now. Really? Okay, if you say so, Bat. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> no! <laughs> you really need to speed things up, Bats. At this rate, you'll never catch me! So the Joker's blocked the path, meaning we gotta turn around to down power to this room. and follow these cables to the the main room where we can shut down the power that's electrifying the water. There's glass ceilings here, so Batman actually could have did something else, but for some reason he felt it was necessary to just shut down the power. I'm just following the cables here. As you see, they went from upstairs to down here, and I follow them into this next room. Here's some teeth. You can take out the teeth if you're still collecting those. There's a tape there. You can also scan a bench for the the Wayne Riddle from the Riddler. Stop, please! I'm not important. Use my old bat spray technique. And just kind of use everything that you've learned here so far, you know. Uh, use your cape stun on those guys. I was actually going for the guys with the knife because I had gained the takedown ability, but I just missed them. Okay, so I got it back and I take out the wrong guy again. I'm just going for that knife guy. And I see he's pulling a box off the wall, so I take the opportunity to take him out. And luckily the knife guy's knocked out, but yeah. Tried to take him out three times with the auto takedown, but I missed him. Gonna cut me free anytime soon. Thanks. Are you okay? I'm fine. I eat punks like these for breakfast. Every time I hear somebody say the I eat blank like blank for breakfast, it makes me think of uh, Happy controls. Gilmore. I have no idea what they were doing. So I take the special combo boost because I believe it lets you get the multiplier sooner, meaning Looks like you have Joker access to the control box. the going to be automatic takedowns before, a little a quicker. I'll need to take. I have a little bit of trouble with the sequence here. sequencer here. Um, a, a better tactic to do is to move the left stick until it looks like it's at about its max wavelength and then move the other stick. And if you're really close but not quite there like I am here, three, two, one, am I gonna make it? I just barely get it. But if you're really close there, just move them just a little bit until it goes green and you'll be okay. I don't think I fail any of these on my hard playthrough. They're just a little tricky, they're not that difficult. <laughs> Looks like I've cut the power to the generator ahead. Now follow the the power cables well, again to the upper one. level That's where Joker just blew blew up that wall ahead. or whatever, blocking your path.
I never encountered this many loading times before. For some reason in this playthrough, I just kept hitting them. That'll give a uh, PS3 fanboy something to joke about. Oh, you're playing on a 360. So yeah, now that there's no electricity in the water, you can just walk right through and then open the grate and continue on your way. You're past the halfway point of the game at this point. So, you know, the Joker's kind of getting desperate and you're going to fight harder and harder enemies as you continue to progress. Now this little area, for some reason, always gets me turned around a little bit. I think I look at the map here in a second to figure out. You can't grapple to anything, you just have to work your way upward. To that ledge where there's a thing you cut with your batarang to continue. I think this is where I came in. No, never mind. Help me! Answer him! Please. It's the bat! I went for a silent takedown there, but I kind of screwed it up. Anyway, just two guys, so I knocked them down. Run over and talk to this guy, see if he's got a tip about where the okay? Joker went. Do I look okay? They were gonna kill me. We were in the aviary hiding out, and they came in with Joker shooting up the place and loaded us into cages. Are they still in there? No, man. No one's come out since. You got to help them. Stay here. So I can continue to follow the fingerprints now until I figure out where the Joker is gone. This is pretty careful. You gotta be really careful in this one. You can't be spotted by a single guard, otherwise they'll kill the hostages. So you gotta stealthily make your way past everybody to the last opponent. The guy operating the dropping mechanism. So what I do is I go through that grate, which is right before the ledge. Like the last corner there that you can kind of go around. And I just... Try to avoid everybody. Watch their paths, see which way they're looking, and make sure they're never facing you. Right here, you actually have to glide for a little bit past that sentry right there. And then this guy... I don't remember how I get past this. I think I glide past them. That's all you really can do. So I'm waiting for him to get a little closer so I can glide past him, get up to the main area, and take out the main guy who I have to kill before anybody else. Surprisingly, he didn't see me there. I don't know. If I saw a gigantic cape flutter over my head, I might have noticed. Okay, so he's taken out. But everybody has noticed me. Not my most stealthy mission ever. Uh, I was having fun with the back grapple before. And actually what you can do is you can hop down here and you can just pull most of the opponents in the stage off of the ledge. This is actually really fun to do. So see that guy didn't see me coming. I yank him forward and he falls over the railing to his death. So 
You know, I thought Batman never killed, but I guess he doesn't seem to care about these guys. Managed to snag that guy, but there's another one behind the rock. And he sees me now, so I had to try something different. Here he comes, and I got him. And that's it. Yeah, he's okay. He just fell into that bottomless pit. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. And the hostages are now saved. You can go talk to him, but I just leave him there. Joker wanted the entrance to the Titan production plant guard. What? They can I figure their own way out of here. Again so I can find it. There's a fingerprint on the wall there. Hmm, what could this be? Again, just use your sequencer. This is one of the three wave ones. Three wave of sequences. They get harder as you go through each wave. So just take your time, you know, mess around with it. If you die, it'll load fairly close to where you are, so you don't have much to worry about. I'm just kind of fiddling around here trying to figure out. And I actually start over there fairly close to end. That's really close. But I got lucky and I got through it. And now the secret passage opens up. Discovered our secret lab. Since you've made it this far, let me show you what I've cooked up. So now the Joker has just made two super mutants. So this is your first time taking on two giant opponents. The best thing you can do, really, is just make them fight each other. Yeah, when they growl, you guys not you guys know that that means you need to hit him with the battering, dive out of the way. Now I just kind of pick one to beat on. Using my batarang tactic of spamming, spamming them with batarang repeatedly. Okay, so he charges, and I think I managed to get a few hits in, but then I hear the other guy charging. So I hit him and get out of the way. And they, they will hurt each other. So every chance you get, let them beat on each other. I'm going for him because his life is pretty low, but I decided to just hold off. And all right, now I get to ride him and beat on his friend. So I got this guy down to no life, so his first bar is gone. And now I'm going to use him to take out the other guy and get him down to one bar alive. And then, because I can hop on him, I can beat on the other guy. So this is this actually worked out pretty well. Now I'm going to get opponent 2 down 25% of his second life bar, which is good. And he charges at me right away, meaning there's another little bit of life. I'm actually both injured there because one got hit by a charge, and I kind of get caught up in the corner. Yeah, this is just kind of fortunate because they're both, both of their lives are just staggered enough that I can keep using them against each other. And that's how you get past this part on the hardest difficulty. You make them beat up each other as much as possible. So 
but I punched him a few times, and I got the battering in for the other guy, so that was pretty good. He's almost dead, so I'm trying to take him out while I have the open, open chance. I end up having to just wait for the next charge. And here it comes. So now he has almost no life. But I just go for it anyway. That's one down, one to go. Now, when it's just one on one, you've done this before, it's pretty easy. It's you versus him. When he throws a body, dodge out of the way. When he charges, hit him with a batarang and dive out of the way. Now it's just about being patient and smart. Because there's only one, I can just continually beat on him, which I'm doing. And uh, I get a little greedy. I should have waited a little longer and just wait for the next charge, which he's doing right here. And now I'm going to be able to take him out. Okay, he's almost dead. Take him down. This is actually one of the challenge rooms. You fight these two guys with a bunch of goons, and it's a really good way to get the higher combo multiplier achievements. I've destroyed the Titan production. And there goes the double trouble achievement. Enough to cause us real problems. Just when you think it can't get any worse. They've been using a venom plant hybrid. Now Batman's about to call strain. one of his gadgets the here, and we're gonna get our new weapon. And there's in only just one a person on Arkham Island who can help us. And what makes you think Poison Ivy will help you? If her plants are at risk, she'll listen. I have a sample of her pheromone signature on record. She'll be somewhere in the gardens. I'll track her down. So now Batman has no way to get out of here. You know, the Joker took away the bridge, and there's no bridge, so he uses the sequencer to open the. And we will see the rest in the next chapter.